China and Germany are neck and neck for the science victory, with no other nation or victory possibility even coming close. As expected, or perhaps not entirely as expected, this one's coming down to the wire. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in Series 3 of our controlled cast meta series, Empire of Espionage. So we are just going to research future tech here to kick this episode off. I had a number of successful spy missions right at the end of the last episode, so I'm going to go ahead and give this spy the ability to disrupt rocketry more effectively. And then this spy failed, but they were not detected. So we're going to just have you steal another great work, please, and thanks. It also looks like we've met Valletta. Are you serious? Check this out. I love Valletta. Look at their unique bonus. City center buildings and encampment district buildings can be bought with faith. Look how much faith I have. Now, any city center buildings, any encampment buildings that I haven't built, I can just plop down immediately because I have so much faith. Holy crap. And also the cost of purchasing walls is reduced, but they can only be bought with faith. Walls no longer matter at this stage of the game, but um, the fact that Valletta has just appeared, this is something that happens when you're playing on barbarian clans. That is incredible. All right, let's go for the future civic. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. All right, this nuclear reactor in Beijing does not need to be recommissioned. I'm kind of tempted to start recapturing carbon. Not going to lie. I really am. But... I think what I'll do is start training a rocket artillery army in Beijing. I might do the same in Tlacopan. No, let's do the airport first. We have a new governor title. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give Magnus vertical integration in the off chance that I do some crazy stuff with industrial districts in the next couple of turns just to make sure we lock in this science victory. So it's it's a little bit, little bit tongue-in-cheek, a little bit goofy on my part because it's not like... I'm not doing it with a definitive purpose in mind, and not only am I not doing it with a definitive purpose in mind, but like... It's not... <laughs> I'm not likely to have another industrial zone layering with the one that I'm currently building. But if I were to change my mind, I'd want to go ahead and have that promotion in place. That's my thinking, and I'm sticking to it. It's not going to be the determining factor in the victory, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay. Um, we definitely could get some error score by exhuming an artifact from the bottom of the ocean, so we can work on that. Let's send this... Apostle up here. I'm amazed that there hasn't really been any religious conflict up here as I've slowly taken control of this territory. With my religion, that is. Okay. So we're going to back off with these units for just a bit. Also, hang on. Which era are you, though? So it requires combined arms. That's atomic era. Perfect. Okay, so I was just making sure that that admiral was qualified to support this destroyer. And long story short, he is. All right, so Ulm... I'm going to have you sabotage production, which will make it more difficult, <laughs> even more difficult for Germany to build things. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm literally just ruining his day and it's hilarious to me. Also, Yurgalim is going to rebel in four turns. I'm just utterly wrecking his day. And in four turns, we're going to have the Mars colony launched, by the way. That's happening. I'm going to move this military engineer down to Chengdu. And we'll start getting these new cities connected. 
All right, this Inquisitor is ready. We're going to cleanse Kyushan of any other religions. And just like that, you see that dominant Confucianism logo there. Did I just hear planes? Ooh, Germany's actually making a move. Look at this. I mean, I, I don't blame him. But the thing is, as long as those rocket artillery units are in the water with nothing defending them, I will just eat them alive. And I'm in the process of building additional... Oh, wow, I love I love the invisible lava there. Thanks, Civ6. Appreciate that. Nice. Ah. Uh, Long was captured? Long is literally one of our best spies. Are you kidding me? I can't get him back. I can't get him back. Oh, that makes me mad. Long was captured. Really? Really? Okay. Whatever, game. Whatever you say. Well, um... Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy that tile. I'm going to train a builder in Wuhan. Also, we have this spy. So we're going to send this spy to Ulm and just straight up replace the one that we just lost. Uh, we're going to become the first ever suzerain of Valletta right frickin' now. We're going to pour every single envoy we have. Wait, hold on. Maybe not every. Let's become the suzerain and then... Yeah, see, I can actually get more gold per turn if I science this out a little bit. All right, so we need 12 more era score, which we can get. I just have to be cautious here. Hang on. Have a nice life. Remember, because these are naval units, they can't fire back. Alright, so these mechanized infantry have been holding it down for a while. I might need to go ahead and recall them. Also, spec ops. I might need to get them on the border. Which reminds me, I have this unit right here that's just ready to go. Okay, so brand new settler here. We've got a couple of options. None of them are great. We could have another city over here. It would be right here if it Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to use that last charge. I like the idea of having at least a few apostles up there to kind of serve as a bulwark, a defensive line. Okay, uh, you can recruit partisans and sabotage production, neither of which is actually available right now. Let's just say siphon funds. Now, the question is, with the money that I have, can I go ahead and buy? Not yet, but I'll be able to next turn. Like, I could also buy an airport this turn right now. Which will really help in terms of power. Okay. In terms of defensive power in the area, I mean. 
Let's go for siphon funds. I'm going to move you into the water. There's Samara score. Three to be exact. The earring proves marine archaeology can still link us to the past. So now we have only need nine more era score. The Mars colony should give us what we need, I would imagine. All right, so they are moving to defend their units. They have a number of rocket artillery armies. That's a little bit intimidating, I'm not going to lie. But they're not using them. They're just sending them to their death, putting them in the water. And it's it's a little bit upsetting because we're playing on Emperor difficulty. This is not this is not cakewalk difficulty. Oh, gradient dust storm, really? On my frontline city, really? There really? There's nothing like a dream to create the future. Grants all of your cities plus five percent production towards city projects each time it's completed. All right, we successfully acquired the Dolphin in Hamburg. Just keep stealing great works, please. The fact that I'm just able to keep doing this ad nauseum is hilarious to me. I can't even begin to describe how funny it is. All right, we're going to withdraw these units again. Now, one thing I'm definitely going to be able to do... I can bot I can go ahead and purchase a destroyer fleet. Although, hold on. We're gonna do it up in Handan, where we have the Venetian Arsenal. The world's first fleet. Are you serious? The world's first. Okay, and then we're gonna combine those with these, and we'll have armadas. I think our golden age, or at least a normal age, is, is pretty much locked in. World games, we won. Perfect. Let's repair the aerodrome. Although, it's going to be a little bit problematic because I think it's going to keep getting hurt. Let's do the workshop at Chengdu. Nuclear power plant, how we doing? Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and put one down. Here's Silvando's theme again. All right, Erfort has been trading with Wuhan for a while, but now I can have Erfort trade with Shendu directly because the trade route's complete. Now, I want to have that city continue to grow, and also the flood barrier is going to be in place very soon, which is good. But I am mindful of the fact that if a trader comes available to me, uh, I'm going to put them in Shendu. Okay, nice brand new city. I'm going to kick things off by building a seastead literally immediately. I'm going to buy, check this out, with faith, all those core buildings. Speaking of that, hold on. Let's just go ham for a second. I can buy a flood barrier there. The fact that I can buy flood barriers is hilarious to me. Yeah, and we just bought the rest of it in Erfort. Okay, that's it. So there's actually nothing else that I can buy, and so I still have a lot of extra faith. Amazing. And... Hmm. I think I'll just put down an aerodrome here. And also, we can totally... We can actually improve that cattle now, which is nice. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Alright, we're going to get the mechanized infantry in the water. We're actually going to bring the spec ops back home as well. Let's build a farm in Chen. You're on growth focus for that express purpose. 
Nice. So we gain some error score for that. That's Wu Zichen, Fresco. All right, Taiwan to Shendu. So in this rare, like, I am going to keep that route going because this is actually building an industrial zone, which is meant to support not only this city, but also Shendu. So I absolutely want to keep that going. All right, Soto now follows Confucianism. Well, it looks like Harar... Harar got reconverted, unfortunately. So let's see what we can do about that, shall we? The delegate Ming Sha learned that Canada has earned the great engineer Kenzo Tang. Oh, this is interesting. Hang on. Hang on. Can I strike this from the deal? I was trying to see if I could... Alright, well, I've marked peace unacceptable now. I was trying to see if I could, like... Since we can't deal with him right now since he's a war, I was trying to see if I could game the system a little bit. And see if I can make a deal with him, given that he kind of approached me. And maybe that's not even gaming the system. Maybe I was just thinking properly about... Oh, nice. Your Golem is about to become ours. You can never plan or next turn it will. By the past. Renew mission. All right, we won World Games. We got a diplomatic victory point, which we're already winning. And we have tourism for each campus, so that's going to help with culture victory even more. I am going to go ahead and buy that Mercury tile finally, and this builder is going to be able to come straight down and improve it straight away. Love that. We only need two more era score to lock in a normal age. Future Civic, perfect. All right, Handan can now build thermonuclear devices. Oh, that's tempting, let me tell you. But before I do that, before I do that, I want to build a nuclear submarine armada. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is my... Oh, I have to train them. Oh, that's so dumb. I didn't realize that. I have to actually train them. All right. Well, in that case, start training them. Jerk. See, now it's going to... Now it's going to be offset. Like, I did that specifically so that I would have two. Now I'm going to have three. Unless I train the destroyer in a different city. Let's train the destroyer in a different city. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the submarines. And just go with the armada. Wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, so Taiwan is actually a good city to do this. So build a destroyer fleet. It'll take two turns. Oh wait, no, 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 absolutely not. You are not doing that this turn. You are. You're gonna build that workshop, and then you're gonna build that factory, because we need that extra production going into Shendu every single turn. Rocket artillery would take 12 turns right now. Don't love that. Helicopter army would take 11 turns. Aircraft carrier would take 10 turns. Let's go ahead and do the aircraft carrier at least. And then let's repair the hangar. The dust storm here is finished. Escape. All right. I evaded capture after being detected. Let's go ahead and promote Magnus. This will give us some error score for fully promoting him. I think. Maybe? Or no, he already had it. Offshore wind farm.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build a tunnel through this mountain. And then we'll have railway that's coming through this direction, and then we'll have a tunnel going through that mountain. It'd be kind of cool. And these two military engineers are just gonna get in the water. I'm gonna have that apostle chill. All right, Mei Feng, I need you to go back. All right, Aachen has a spy. So does Hamburg. Looks like disrupt rocketry is an option again. That's not a good sign. Yeah, go back to Magdeburg. We don't have a spy there right now. All right. Nice. I had a feeling that would happen. We managed to reconvert Harar pretty easily. This is a brand new spy. We're going to have him sabotage production. We've got two more turns here. We're going to have you sabotage production in Aachen, which is the capital. I have a lot of notifications that I'm just outright ignoring right now. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Let's redeclare our friendship with Monty. And let's redeclare a military alliance. And see if he's willing to... Throw in some goodies. He is. Perfect. He still has so many grievances. I'm amazed he is continually willing to be my friend. After how much I've screwed with him for this entire game. The Exoplanet Expedition has not been launched. And our Mars colony... We're about to catch up with Frederick. You know what? Actually, no, I'm going to say I'm just going to ignore that because I, I am still spying a lot and I might end up spying on her again. Who knows? World Games has been completed. So that means on the diplomatic victory front, we're yeah at 11 of 20 points. Welcome to the World Congress. Climate Accords. All right. I have a ton of diplomatic favor and we're going to use it. All right, so we're going to protect the rainforest, but I'm not going to put a lot of votes into it. Plus five loyalty per turn, but minus 20% population growth in this player's cities. Let's just go for it. And let's see how it turned out. The information error ends in seven turns. Roosevelt. All right, so we can't clear Marsh. That's annoying. We got two diplomatic victory points, and the climate accords have been passed. And nice. The aerodrome in Tlacopan Even actually gave us aeroscore. Seems far away, it is actually beginning right now. Oh, my God. We only need one more point to get a freaking... Are you serious? We only need one more point. What the heck? Okay, I want you to disrupt rocketry, please. We need to keep that down. Let's go. Now, this city belongs to us. I don't know we made those, deci those decisions before we actually said, yes, we're keeping this city. Because we could choose not to. All right, let's buy the shipyard outright. And build the seaport. Interesting that there are German units in my territory, too. That's somewhat annoying. All right, I'm going to steal this builder real quick. Mine. And then I'm going to back this unit the heck off and hopefully still be able to hold on to that builder. I don't know for sure that's going to happen, but <laughs> my culture is dominant over Egypt. What would be hilarious is if we just won a surprise science victory with this. Okay, so there's some good news. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and decommission the oil power plant. We're going to recommission the nuclear reactor in Launchy. 
Yeah, so the spaceport in Jean is done. And with that, we will be able to, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, we're going to be able to speed up the progress of the exoplanet expedition, which is quite nice. All right, we have room for another trader. So that's just, I mean, there's only one place another trader can go. That's in Chengdu. Let's build a missile cruiser Armada in Yiyang. Now, interestingly enough, Yiyang doesn't really have uh, power at the moment. And I don't really have an ability to provide housing there. That's interesting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and order the construction of a thermonuclear device. What could possibly go wrong? I don't plan to use it, you know, but just, just want to be prepared. Just want to be prepared. Now, where's that other unit? I'm very... Oh, there it is. It's literally staring me in the face. So how many diplomatic victory points do I have now? 14 of 20. No one else is even close. No one else is even remotely close. Yeah, these spec ops could be pretty useful. Okay. Let's found that city there, and we will go ahead and start improving tiles even more. Looks like we have some jade available. Let's build the granary, the sewer, the old god obelisk. And then you very clearly are a harbor city as well. So we'll put you on growth focus and get that district started. And I'm also going to work just to further convert this city. All right, destroyer fleets. Hey, uh, Menelik, would you be willing? Oh no, you're not willing to open your borders because you suck. All right, so I have to send my destroyer the long way around. It's going to take him seven turns, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll make do. I think this is one of my favorite railway networks that I've built because it's you know, it encompasses so many continents. It's a Belt and Road initiative, if you will. Sorry, that was a slightly political joke, but it was kind of sitting right there. So you're willing to give me two great works. Five gold per turn is what I have to give you, and you want me to give you those things. Um, you know what? Sure. You're my ally. You've been my ally the entire time. And it's really difficult to get you to be an ally, Monty. So I will give you credit where due. And that's not a problem. I'll be curious to see what happens with this Golden Age. Like if Germany manages to maintain their Golden Age or not. And there we go. That's a very well-timed music cue. Nice. Production has been wrecked in Aachen and in Ulm. All right, so this is a brand new spy. All right, so I, first of all, I want to give them Ace Driver. And then we're going to launch the Exoplanet Expedition in Shendu. We're just plowing towards that victory as fast as we can. It's working out. Okay, so...
I could potentially power these cities. Hang on, let me look at the power plant information. I need to remember what the radius is. Okay, six tiles. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I could put an industrial district down in Guangzhou. It would help me power these cities. It makes a lot of sense to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One sec. Why are my grids not showing? Or are they showing and I just can't see them? Oh yeah, they're just barely visible. Okay. One, two. All right, if we put it... Let me see. Industrial zone. Yeah, they're just barely visible. Holy crap. Okay. We did it there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is actually in range. So this is the best candidate because it actually has a little bit of a bonus to production. So we'll plot that down there. And then Taiwan. How are we doing on this? Now let's go ahead and do a nuclear power plant there. Okay. Let's just steal some money from the German capital. I want you to gain sources in Magdeburg. The builder that we stole from Germany did, in fact, remain under our control. And we're going to continue to heal up these two destroyers while also positioning these Spec Ops units to snipe at any units that might be dumb enough to come by. This has turned into quite a nice defensive bulwark against Germany, while also helping my empire in subtle ways. And in some ways, not so subtle. All right, so we have the same issue that we had before, which is that we're on hilly terrain. So actually getting this to work well. Oh, you know what? Because I built the um, ski resort there, I might not be able to build a tunnel the way I normally would. That's fine. All right, Seastead built there. About time to end the episode, but let's see. Oh yeah, check this out. If I trade now with Taiwan, that actually brings in four production more per turn. And we're not even done building everything that will help Shendu with its production. So we've locked in our golden age. Believe it or not. I'm kind of tempted to start converting Addis Ababa, which is their capital, and it's right there. But at the same time, I'm kind of happy with the amount of buffer that I've built up with my religion. I might just kind of keep things as they are. Eight turns until the Exoplanet Expedition is done. Decommission oil uh, power plants done in one turn. We've got a couple of nuclear power plants on the way. The citizens of Xi'an are linked by their civic pride in our civilization's largest city. I never think of the future. It comes soon enough. Okay, well on that note, we're about 33 minutes into the episode. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here. We are at turn 230. At this point, when you look at the Science Victory panel... We are, for all intents and purposes, we are caught up with Frederick. And there are other civilizations that have researched the required technology, but none that have actually successfully launched the Mars colony. So it does look like from the coloration that I'm seeing, it looks like maybe uh, Menelik is, like, if it means anything, Menelik might have the Mars colony on the way, because I'm noticing just a slight difference in coloration here. So... That would be my instinct for that, but we're still ahead of him, and the Exoplanet Expedition is going to launch in seven turns, and then we will just throw everything we can into speeding it up, and we've done it recently, so it's not going to be a foreign process for those of you who have watched my recent Civilization content. Oh, look, an Aurora. It's just a matter of uh, plowing through the last final turns and hoping that uh, Germany doesn't pull any shenanigans, which so far... Every shenanigan, let's be honest, they've tried to pull. We have just slapped them down and laughed a little bit. So this is going quite well at this point. I'm enjoying this feeling of cruising after a few episodes of slight 
tension. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day but Monday at 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.